Hi and welcome to another episode of Troubleshoot This. My name is Chris and in this one we are troubleshooting your boot issues that prevents you from getting to your Windows desktop. Let's get started. Okay, now that we're here in our system, we're going to proceed to turn it on. And if you want to if you've ever had this issue before uh, where you turn on your computer, you see the uh, manufacturer motherboard logo and it takes you straight to this screen which is the BIOS it means that it did not find a bootable device that contains a Windows partition so that could mean that your hard drive is not plugged in properly you have a bad SATA cable or worst case scenario um, your hard drive went bad so one way to check that is to click on uh, advanced in your BIOS or sometimes it's going to be under boot it's going to show like a um, like a list of hard drives or basically storage devices in your system sometimes also you can click on exit and you'll see a boot override section here if it shows any options on here it means you can see your drive but in this case it doesn't so one thing we can also do is go to advanced go to storage configuration and you can see there's a storage device list here and nothing is listed so um, it means the system did not find any storage device like any SSD or HDD so one thing we can do to check that out and see what's going on is basically uh, just hit exit or just press the power button on your computer and it'll turn itself off um, as you can see here on our on our system here now that the system is off this is our SSD right here and this is the data connection to it this connects it to the motherboard so we want to make sure that our power here is firmly plugged in and if you notice here this seems this seems loose so we will just align it on this uh, slot right there and then give it a push a little challenging with this angle and you hear a click right there so you want to make sure you see this uh, just the um, the metal kind of locking latch here firmly onto the drive itself and apart from that we're gonna give it another shot gonna power on the system here we go and we are back to the uh, motherboard logo and we'll see if this works okay we actually saw that little round uh, loading thing screen animation and we are on our desktop now so that means it was just a loose connection on the uh, SATA cable from the SSD to the motherboard so that's one way of solving it if you do that if you receipt the connections and it still doesn't show you anything um, you might want to check like I said if uh, everything's firmly connected and you still don't see anything on the uh, on the BIOS on the pages that I showed you earlier you either may have to um, get your hard hard drive or SSD replaced or if it does show in there but it's it doesn't uh, boot to Windows you may need to reinstall Windows again and um, we do have a video guide for that like a full complete start to finish guide of reinstalling Windows so make sure you check that out um, other than that um, that's that's pretty much what we can do right now to diagnose um, issues with your uh, SSD there's also one before I go there's also one issue that's been going on to where if you enter the uh, BIOS the hard drive shows but it has a uh, like a description that's called SATA firm like SATA firm 11 or something like that that would indicate a, uh, a firmware issue with the drive itself and it's non-correctable via via the customer um, might have been a bad programming batch on the um, basically on the BIOS of the SSD itself or the firmware so if that happens to your drive just you know give us a call let us know what's going on and we'll see what we can do to replace that for you other than that again thank you for joining me on this quick tutorial and guide to check for boot issues on your computer. My name is Chris and we'll see you on the next one.